Hello, my name is Evgeny, and I came a long way here from Russia to study software engineering at Axiom. When uh, you're thinking of being a software developer, you think like, wait, should I go to courses so I can learn it by yourself? The answer is that you can learn it by yourself. If you want to build up a website, you can just Google how to build it, follow the tutorial, and uh, here you go, you're a software developer, congratulations. Actually, as you can expect, it's not that easy. Nowadays, with the tendency to globalize, in order to build up uh, serious big applications, you have to learn how to work in a team. And that's exactly what Saxion offers. They offer you an opportunity to work with people from different countries on some projects and develop uh, organizing skills. And I have to say, like, it may sound easy, like, just work with another person. But if you're a software developer, you know that it's a really hard task when you have to read others' code, to understand what they're doing there and they have to read your code, it can be kind of mess. And here we had some projects where we work in a team of two, sometimes team of four. Oh, well, once we had a project where we worked in a team of 20 people, it was kind of mess. It was hard to handle <clears throat> so many people. Uh, my first year here was pretty chill. The course starts with a slow pace. If you have a logic frame of mind, it will be very easy to follow. Exams uh, were, were not that hard, actually. If you follow the course, there will be nothing unexpected. Well, some exams were not all that obvious, but still, overall, I think it was pretty fair. Yeah. First year was like an introduction to what you're going to do next. You start on the first quarter with Hello World project. It's exactly the thing about team building. You learn how to do brainstorms, how to organize sprints, and you work in a team. Also, there is an introduction to programming where you learn how to think as a programmer and learn Java. And uh, also there is an infrastructure and essentials course where you learn how computer works, how networking works, and you learn how to build a network. We actually build up a virtual network for a customer, which is not a real customer, but it was an interesting experience. I, I felt like I became a system administrator of some sort. And uh, introduction to programming uh, is followed by object-oriented programming, and then you dive into the Android development, which is also like on Java, but it's a little bit different and uh, the first year ended like in, in, with a project where we build a game without any game engine you have to present it on an app market and try to win the first place second year is way more harder than the first one and you have to learn a lot by yourself because now the studies goes to goes to broad and the university actually shows you a lot of ways that you can follow as a software developer. And you have, you have to choose the way you want to follow by yourself. And continue studying like on your own pace, on the side from actual studying here. Uh, do your own projects and prepare for internships for the, uh, that will be on the third year. And it's way, way more harder than the first year. Especially the first quarter was very stressful. We had a web technology where it was like every week we had an assignment, uh, like the deadline is every week. We have to deliver a really huge assignment hit there. For example, the last one was to build up a full stack application making a clicker with a REST API and testing. In a week it's insane to build such an application, but uh, we learned a lot from it. Uh, yes, I'm going on an internship next year, but I think it won't be abroad from uh, your perspective. For me, it will be because uh, Netherlands is a foreign country for me. So I, I want to stay here and find a company to join. But I've been thinking about other opportunities like uh, going back to my country and try to go for an internship for Yandex. If you know, it's like Russian Google. I read some what, what they expect from students and I think I already have more experience than they want.
for this. I'll be able to follow the course. And talking about minors, uh, Saxion offers a limited variety of countries. Some, uh, most of them are within Europe. Several opportunities in Asia, and they, you can go even to America if you have enough money for that. Uh, I think I'll do internship here, but uh, minor I will do in another country. I think probably in Bulgaria because uh, section has connections with American University there, and uh, some of their courses look interesting for me. So that's that's my plan. As I already told, uh, Saxion showed me a lot of ways to develop as a software engineer. And uh, now uh, I'm concentrated on becoming a front-end developer. Uh, mostly, I'll, I'll have to say it's more like a full-stack developer, because uh, I really like working uh, with Node.js and uh, React. Uh, I'm trying to make some projects on my own, and I think I'll develop in this direction further. But I'll probably become Bill Gates or Steve Jobs one day. <laughs> well, uh, there's nothing unexpected here. You go, you visit classes, listen lectures, work, in, work on seminars. But teachers here, are, you really feel like they're willing to help you. Uh, it's okay to go to the teacher's room and just ask for help if you, if you need it. And uh, there's not like in my country, in universities, teachers and students are like different nationalities. They don't contact with each other a lot. But here, you feel like uh, students and uh, teachers are in one community. They feel like they're not formal with each other. And uh, on the parties, you can chat with the teacher like with your old buddy. And I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Welcome at my informational video about HBO IT or HBO ICT as it's called in Dutch. Uh, hopefully by the end of this video you will know what this course consists of and what makes it particularly fun to do. My name is Rogier Hommels and I have been working as a teacher within HBO IT for about six years now and I have a background in the software industry as developer and uh, team lead. HBO IT is a broad course that consists of three different tracks and you can choose your personal path throughout this uh, course. The three tracks are software engineering, IT service management and business. Within software engineering, you will learn how to develop software. Backend development, frontend development, you will learn about uh, making robust uh, programs that will not contain too many errors. And that's actually uh, an endeavor that will last throughout your whole career. Within IT service management, you will learn how to create small sized networks for uh, a simple company, for instance but also for a company that has multiple sites throughout the whole world and, uh, well, that has uh, quite a lot of challenges on its own. For instance, working together on a day-to-day -day basis with video conferencing where all the information should be secure. Within business, you will learn about the business, customers and so on, and about the IT. You can end up as somebody who will work uh, closely with a customer to uh, enable the customer with a certain IT solution. What makes this course unique and fun? Uh, well, it has a very applied character. You will be, you will learn by actually doing. Furthermore, we have uh, teachers who are uh, enthusiastic and have have a background in the industry, so they uh, mostly know what they are talking about. We also have many extracurricular activities like hackathons or LAN parties. So, if you're up for that feel free to join. A year within uh, HBO IT is divided into four parts, quartals. Uh, a quartal consists of 10 weeks, where we have eight weeks of classes and two weeks exam period. And that will repeat four times a year. Two quartals make up a semester and the classes within a semester also have a high cohesion. So they, they actually belong together. What classes uh, does this course consist of? Well, let's go back to the three tracks. Uh, the business track consists of, well, personal development courses, mainly, about IT, databases, uh, modeling, 
uh, information management, uh, communication, those kind of topics. Within IT service management, obviously you learn about the infrastructure. What is a LAN, what is a hub, what is a, um, a router for instance. You will also learn about security and scripting. Within software engineering, you learn how to create programs for the front end, for the back end. Uh, you learn about algorithms, data structures, about concurrency, databases, and for instance, web technology. Okay, so how do the other years within the course uh, look like? What do they look like? Well, year two is quite similar uh, to year one, where you will be following courses. But you have your own route uh, in these first two years as well. Third and fourth year are quite different. Uh, the third year starts with an internship, which you will do uh, by yourself within a company. Uh, it is followed by a minor, and a minor can be uh, anything, uh, actually it can be at a different university and can be on a topic of interest. It can be geography or security or uh, Spanish, whatever you, um, uh, whatever you like. Then we have the fourth year and the last year of the studies. Well, we start with a specialization where you dive deep into a certain topic of your interest. And the whole course is concluded with a graduation assignment, which you also do at a company uh, by yourself, and it is uh, finished with a graduation thesis. HBOIT is a full-time study. You will have uh, about 20 hours a week uh, courses, uh, classes, uh, project hours with a group, and the other uh, 50%, 20 hours will be uh, self-study. IT jobs are still in high demand uh, at this moment. And of course, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know how it's going to be in four uh, to five years, but society getting smarter, IT smarter and smarter all the time. So I don't think that will be uh, a big of a problem. So if you're interested in solar energy, for instance, you might want to hook up with a team within Saxion that actually uh, does the solar challenge in uh, Australia uh, every year. So you can, well, take part in, in such a big endeavor. Or if you're interested in uh, artificial intelligence in, uh, in the health industry, it's taking a, a big leap now. So you can also be part of that. So what I personally like about IT is the fact that it's changing very rapidly. It's, it's really shaping uh, the future of all of us and uh, yeah, you can be part of it. Thanks for your attention. Hopefully I've answered some of your questions, probably not all. So uh, if you wanna uh, be in contact at a later stage, I'm happy to, uh, to do that as well.